Good morning, everyone. It's day 13 of the Ultimate Reset. I'm Amanda Noddings, if you haven't met me before, and I am currently mashing by hand chickpeas, because that's breakfast today. I'm mashing them up with garlic. Um, I had it once before, it was good. It's a little different flavor for breakfast than I'm used to, but it's good. So last night was day 12. I was doing great all day. I had a total fall off the wagon moment at work. Um, it was weird. It was like I was possessed. I'm not normally uh, craving sweets so much, but I think the idea of not being allowed to have anything is really messing with me, even though I don't normally have them anyway. So um, it was almost like I was searching for something sweet, searching for a way to mess up and... Um, so anyway, I had these little Hershey bars, those little mini snack size ones a patient gave me at work. And normally I hand those off to people without even thinking or tell them thank you. And then I go put them at the nurse's station and let everyone else eat them. And last night I ate like way too many. And especially for this cleanse, because I'm not supposed to have any. So it's a weird feeling. Um, I got really sick to my stomach. I mean, I didn't have like 50 or anything, but I did have a couple and um, I didn't feel well after. I felt ill, I'm sick to my stomach. I still had dinner to eat and for some reason I was waiting for that half hour to go by for my supplements and that's when I ate all this stuff. I realized I missed my alkalize. So I have an extra packet of that now because I didn't take it because I just, got off track somehow while I was at work at like 8 p.m. at night. I had all this stuff start going awry and I had made it through three quarters of the day already. So needless to say, I didn't feel that great this morning. Um, I feel really disappointed in myself for falling off track. I know it's just one day, like the book says, you, you, you know, deal with it and you move on. But I gotta say that I feel like I shot like my progress in the foot. And so I guess we'll see where the rest of the week takes me. I'm trying not to let it get me down or anything, but I do feel like a failure for not being able to do that well. It's it's hard um, to work so hard at something for so many days and be almost, you know, I'm almost two thirds of the way through this program and then to do something stupid like that. So anyway, moving onward from that, all I can do is it, the one thing I can say from that is that it's totally motivated me to make this week awesome. It's this day, today even, I'm actually only thinking about today. So I'm mashing up, and you can see they're all mashed up now. So that'll be breakfast along with a quarter of an avocado, which I cut up yesterday. And lunch is a microgreen salad, which is easy to prep with the roasted beets that were left over from last night's dinner, which was amazing, by the way. I love those collard greens. And I actually just read an article on all the benefits of coconut milk today, so that was kind of nice to read after I'd had them for dinner last night. Um, so the microgreen salad and the leftover beets and some pumpkin seeds, which I toasted in advance. So it's easy prep for the first two meals of the day. The third thing is a roasted kibachi squash, which I also read you can substitute acorn squash or butternut squash for. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. But I'm really excited to try that, the tahini sauce um, on it, or tahini filling it's called, it looks amazing. Um, I, but I am, yeah, very uh, focused on making today 100% right. No coffee, no slip ups, no chocolate, no mistakes, and getting all my supplements on time and eating only my meals because I, I do notice a difference in how I feel today and I know that's a direct result of falling off the weight last night. So that's how day 13 is going. And check out my blog if you want to see pictures of the food and how that went. Amanda Noddings at blogspot.com. Or hit me up on Facebook and we can chat. I am so glad to be gaining this experience. And I can't wait to see. I want that good feeling I had all week to come back.